There was no denying it was a bumpy flight in for William and Kate. But they promised to visit Bella Bella and pulling out at the last minute is not an option. Even when it's tipping it down and Prince William appeared to have forgotten his coat. The welcome could not have been warmer. The Helsic community is one of hundreds of First Nation groups dotted across British Columbia. Here they live right alongside the Great Bear Rainforest, a natural treasure they're determined to protect for their children. Because it's one of the last remaining pristine forests throughout the whole of this world, that everybody needs to pay attention that we're taking care of this place for them. Stretching for more than 250 miles and about the size of Ireland, it's the largest coastal temperate rainforest in the world. Described as the jewel in the crown of Canada, William was here to officially mark its place in a project called the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy. An appeal has been made to all 53 Commonwealth nations to contribute areas of indigenous forest to be preserved forever in the Queen's name, marking Her Majesty's service to the Commonwealth. When we protect our rivers, oceans, atmospheres, or like today, our forests, we are telling our children that their future prosperity cannot be disconnected from the health of the natural world. There are always parts of a royal tour that don't quite go to plan. They were meant to come here to see the Great Bear Rainforest, and it's only now started to dry out. But when you have a message to deliver from your grandmother, there's no way that they couldn't turn up. After an unusual, but certainly appropriate plaque unveiling, he eventually managed a quick walk through the forest, getting a glimpse of the salmon it's famous for. Visiting the remotest parts of the Commonwealth has always been a passion for the Queen. It's now up to her grandchildren, whatever the weather. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News, in Bella Bella in Canada.